Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Rural Report. I am your Rural 2IC, and today I'm going to ask, which of the three do you fall in? And what I mean by that is that I'm going to basically ask three questions, and it's going to put you in one of three categories. So, the first question, who depends on you for survival? So that could be anybody in your neighborhood, in your family, uh, anybody that you may come across. Is there somebody or multiple people that are going to depend on you for their survival? Now, for me, the time of this video, I have a four-year-old. And there's only so much that you can teach a four-year-old about survival. Uh, right now, he is more interested in riding his bike and Paw Patrol than learning how to make a fire. And, you know, for obvious good reasons. But I do try and teach him little things here and there. I'm limited by age, but as he grows older, I can teach him more and more. But until a certain you know, age, he's going to completely depend on me for survival. Now, maybe it's not complete dependence. Maybe you have a teenager. Maybe you have a spouse. Maybe you have some people that know a decent amount, but they don't know everything. Uh, maybe they know how to grow food, maybe they know how to make water, make fire, but they're not really keen on medical, and that's where you come in. And so they are going to look to you for survival when it comes to medical. And so it's one of those ones that when I ask this question, who in your group, your family, your mag, your tribe, who around you, even your neighbors, is going to look to you when disaster strikes that they're going to count on you? Now... Second question, do you depend on somebody for survival? Now, I know that a lot of you is going to watch this and be like, no, you know, that's why I'm here. I'm a prepper. I don't, I don't need anybody else. But it comes down into it. Are you fully prepared? Are you, you know, really knowledgeable in medical? Are you really knowledgeable to go out and know the difference between a poisonous mushroom and an edible mushroom? It, it, there's a lot that comes down into it. And I think that a lot of people don't really look inside and be honest with themselves. And so at some point in time, you probably will become dependent on somebody, especially if you get injured or sick, that you're going to need help in order to survive. But in the current non-disaster thing right now, the first question is who depends on you? The second question is who do you depend on? And then if you say, you know what, rural, none of that fits me, then I'm going to say that probably the third one is you. And are you prepared to do this alone? And if you are the lone wolf, maybe you have nobody, maybe you have no relatives, maybe you have no parents, maybe you have no immediate family. You moved way out in the middle of nowhere and you are watching this on, you know, satellite internet. Uh, there's, in certain scenarios, there's nothing wrong with trying to do this alone. Um, and I know that's going to sound hypocritical because I made countless videos. Um, I've listened to a lot of people that have come at me uh, kind of yelling that, no, I can do this alone. And some of them make some okay points, and I've, I've kind of opened my mind a little bit, but I'm going to tell you right now, my opinion still has not really wavered. Uh, you will not survive the end of the world as we know it, or SHTF, or anything like that, alone. This is not going to happen. Um, this isn't a Hollywood movie. You are not Daryl Dixon. You are not, you know, anybody along those things. <laughs> Excuse me. If you try and go and fight the world by yourself, not going to work out very well for you. Um, you have a better chance with somebody, a group, something like that. But if you are going to go alone, maybe this might open it up to you have a mag or a tribe. Maybe it's small. Maybe there's four or five of you. As things progress, maybe you know one decides to leave. Maybe one gets injured and you know, uh, is no longer alive. Different scenarios happen, and all of a sudden you are alone. Are you prepared to be alone, completely alone? 
everything depends on you. You depend on yourself sur for survival. Are you mentally prepared to where you will not have a conversation with another human for weeks, months, years? And I know, I know there's a lot of people that's going to listen to this and be like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, myself included to a point. I, I definitely know that I could go for quite a while and not speak to anybody. Um, and I guess my practice is, is I get to talk to a phone and not actually people. So uh, if you're watching this, thank you for watching this. Uh, drop down, hit the like, the subscribe, the little bell for notification, all the little fun YouTube things. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them down there below. I try and get back to just about everybody. Um, if you haven't checked out our Facebook page, just go to Facebook and search for The Rural Report. And with that, I'm just going to remind you to remain united. We're all prepping in this together.